Hey everyone and welcome to Wicked Weasel's YouTube channel. Today you're with Phoebe and Amanda. Hello. This is our beautiful activewear model and today we're making you protein pancakes. Ew. So Amanda, do you want to tell us the ingredients that we'll be using today? I can. So today we have one cup of self-raising flour. If you don't have self-raising flour, you can use a cup of normal flour with a teaspoon or so of baking powder. Then we have half a cup of vegan protein powder. So this is a plant-based one. You can use whatever protein powder you have lying around, but we've opted for that. Then we have a pinch of salt for a bit of flavor. And then we also have a cup of water, but you can add more water depending on how dry the mixture is. If you need some more, yeah, just to do it. <laughs> and then we also have a sweetener. So you can use whatever sort of you have at home. You can use maple syrup. Today we've used stevia. So because stevia is sweeter than normal sugar, we've gone for a tablespoon. If you're using something else like maple syrup or other sugar, you can use two tablespoons. And that's all our ingredients for the pancake base. And then we have some delicious toppings that we'll go through later. Yeah, sounds good. I'm so excited to get into it. But before we start uh, making these delicious pancakes, let's tell everyone about what we're wearing today. Strap work. Yeah, I was going to say Strap City, but you know, Strap work sounds better. <laughs> um, so this has a gorgeous mesh panel at the front, as you can see. It's a really supportive uh, crop top. I, I like it. It's got a nice uh, thick band down the bottom. So there's mesh, and then we've got um, a padding insert as well, which you can take out if you prefer not to. And then the back mm -hmm. is also lovely and strappy. And then the tights as you can see, um, have some nice straps in them. It's also kind of good for summer, let's the air in, and if you've got a nice new fake tan on like me, you can show off your fake tan legs. <laughs> uh, and then, they, yeah, they're pretty comfortable, nice and stretchy. I believe I'm wearing a size small in the top and bottoms. And yeah, this is my outfit for today. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, what are you wearing? <laughs> tights in violet so it's got this gorgeous detailing of a strap here with the mesh panel underneath which is very sexy just like Wicked Weasel keeps everything nice and sexy oh yeah this one's pretty sexy too I've <laughs> done that you look gorgeous girl <laughs> <laughs> and then um, and then we've got the mesh uh, underneath I'm not sure if you can see that but we'll show you in the close-ups after we have the reflective panels on the back which is really good for night running. It's just got that special uh, reflective um, little print for uh, for safety, obviously, and it's, it looks nice and glowy too. And yeah, it makes me feel really comfortable. It's all supportive. It's got the high waistband, which is really good. So if you want to stand out, make sure you get yourself some of these sets. You. <laughs> all right, let's get baking. Okay. First up, we are going to preheat the stove. Good idea. Because we want our pancakes to go onto a hot pan. Mm -hmm. This is a pan. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, but we don't want a house fire. You guys watch for a fire in the background. <laughs> we're going to get making over here. Yes. Thieves. Yes. Sieve. Okay, we're getting onto the sieving. First ingredient. So first we're putting the ing dry ingredients in, then we're slowly going to add the wet and then mix, mix as desired. But um, <laughs> I think everyone knows that the um, first pancake is usually a bit of a flop. Yeah, isn't it? And look, we're not here trying to create anything out of the ordinary. We're just trying to make a standard delicious protein pancake. Next ingredient we're adding is the protein powder. Sieve away. Yay. Protein. There's a lot of oil. You can put oh, it. Oh no, it's fine once it's all spread around. Okay. 
So then we are going to put this sweetener in. I think these pancakes are going to be nice and sweet. Yes. Not that we need any extra sweetness. Do we? We don't. <laughs> Next. We giving the dry ingredients a little bit of a stir. Yes. You can, um, probably don't need to use a whisk right now, but that's all right. Okay. We can do that. Beginning with all of the ingredients. Hmm? Oh, you did it. You're freaking genius. Okay. They can meet this Dry. Thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. We have combined the dry ingredients minus the, minus the salt, which we're going to pinch in. That looks like a great serving of salt, Phoebe. That actually looks pretty cool. So according to the recipe, we are slowly going to add water. Yeah. I'll, I'll slowly help. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, oh. this has happened before oh. when I've used a weirdus. It all gets stuck in there. Okay, I kind of feel better off using like a wooden spoon. Good thinking, good thinking. Let's do that. We're a fork. Yeah, <laughs> look, you can be adventurous with the choices of mixing utensils you use. And whatever you have on hand, don't go out and buy any fancy things. Just use what you've got, maybe not a whisk for this starting part. Mm -hmm. All right, all more right. water. Yeah, I reckon we'll probably need more than a cup. I think we'll need more than a cup. Not going to lie. Okay. It's meant to be lumpy, but not this bad. Yeah, maybe now it's thin enough. Mm -hmm. Get in there with the whisk. All right, let's go. Whisk it up. Because we don't want it too chunky. Like, yeah, I don't want to bite into a powdery yeah. piece of... <laughs> this is kind of what it said, how it was supposed to be. Oh yeah, that looks good. Looking delicious. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that's it for the mixture. I will start on the first pancake and how about you get changed into some more delicious active wear. See you later. <laughs> so, while Amanda is getting changed, why don't we go over to the stove and start making pancakes. Let's use this little soup spoon utensil because I feel like I've seen that on cooking shows before. Okay, wish me luck, guys. Okay, wow. Okay, this is gonna be a oily pancake. I don't think it needs that much oil. Oh I'm yeah, the oil thinking. was yeah, I tried to tip some of it out. It might be um like a, not a very good pan as well. It's bubbling, it's getting It's there. bubbling. Okay, while that is bubbling, Amanda's going to show you her beautiful next outfit, which is the Electra Reveal. So this is the Electra Reveal from Wicked Weasel. It has this beautiful kind of spring floral print with some mesh. I like the high neck, it's very supportive. It really feels like all your lady parts are in there and then there is a nice tight um, band underneath so you're not going to fall out or anything. And the straps are nice and wide across the back as well and here. And then we have the bottoms, so they are high-waisted which really keeps you all in it makes you feel very confident not worrying about if you can a muffin top or anything and then of course there's the gorgeous reflective logo on the back and a little pocket here which you can put your keys or like a Panadol in if you get a headache while you're running because running's awful um, and then there's the mesh detailing across the thigh so it really accentuates your shape making that really nice hourglass shape that everyone wants and lets in a bit more air because I get sweaty when I work out. So yes, I really love this. It's very nice and sexy, which Wicked Weasel really does well with all of their activewear. Also, I think you look gorgeous in this set. Thank you. You look good in all of it. You look very fit in your activewear and your fit it. <laughs> it's because I make protein pancakes <laughs> all the time. Speaking of pancakes, let's see how they're going. This one too. Okay. It's really hot. All right, let's just have a look. Okay. Yeah, that's toast cooked. Cool. Okay. Wait, right. do we want to? Just 
Put mm -hmm. another one on. Yeah. We just have to wait for our exercises first, okay? Yes. Just gonna put a dash of oil this time. Nice. Maybe more than that or not? Nah, I think, oh I think it's um, <laughs> pretty <laughs> good. This, something is not flat with this pan, babe. Hey. All right, so scooping this in to the center. Nice and smoky. That looks a little bit more round than the first one, which is good. I have a feeling that these are gonna cook quicker. So the pan is now at a sort of three quarter heat because this particular induction one was not hot enough at halfway and it's bubbling away. Yeah. So Phoebe, what do you like to do at the gym? <laughs> So my favorite exercises are just like the basic ones really because I feel, I mean, I do like doing fancy fun things like handstands and everything as well. But for strength, <laughs> strength training, I would do um, my squats and my hip thrusts. I really like training my legs, but I also love training my upper, upper body. So I would do like chest press, bar chest press and like um, chin-ups, assisted chin-ups, things like that, um, rows, I, I don't know if people are going to know what these are, but you can Google it, like the, the, you Google, Google and um, YouTube is your best friend these days for workouts, so make sure you check that out, but I love um, making a whole different variety of exercises, sometimes I just try to make them up, do what feels good, but I definitely like functional training, I like to be able to use my body as I am a dancer, so I like to use all sorts of different movements. What about you? Um, so, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge gym person, as in like I'm not at all an expert with training or anything. I do train with a PT and she shows me a lot of stuff um, because mainly a lot of my exercises are outdoors. So we live in the beautiful Gold Coast. I like being outside and going for hikes and things. But when I am at the gym, I do really like squats and trying to build up those sort of muscles a lot to help with um, lower back pain as well. So we focus on a lot of exercises with that. And then I really enjoy reformer Pilates and sessions like that. I think I need to flip my pancake. <laughs> so. That looks like it's really good. Magic. <laughs> And then um, I really enjoy boxing classes. They're really fun because I like getting my heart rate high and trying to burn a lot of calories. So that's probably my sort of exercise things. But yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have tips for our followers on how you keep in such good shape? Because I think we can all agree, <laughs> Amanda, her physique is phenomenal. So you give us your tips too. Please, kind. Your please. body is amazing. Stop, stop. Um, <laughs> My tips would be try and stay active when you're not at the gym as well. So don't just, if you exercise for 45 minutes an hour a day, don't make that the only time that you are active. If you're sitting in a desk, make sure that you try and get up every half an hour, hour, a little walk around or something. Take the stairs when you can. All, all that incidental activity I think really adds up than just being sedentary and then doing that hour and then coming home from work and sitting down and watching TV and Netflix for four hours. Mm. Like so and then you know just working in the yard or walking your dog, things like that. And it's really good for your mind, I think, as well, clearing that and helping you stay active both mentally and physically, so that's that would be my tips. They are really great tips, Amanda. I think this pancake is ready. They're getting, they're making Whoa, very yep, fast Whoa, yeah, that now. is done. That <laughs> is totally done. Oh, oh my God. God. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Phoebe, you're up. Okay, my pancake turn again. Yeah, it's pretty um, non-sticky, I think. Let's see if I'm correct in that sense. Oh yes, you did so much more of a better circle now. Yay! Well, it's Whoa. bubbling quickly, which is great. Nice. So everyone that's watching today and enjoying our beautiful protein pancakes, uh, we hope that you cook these at home. But also, let us know if you have any questions for Amanda or myself, and we would love to answer for them for you through our social medias or in future videos on our YouTube Wicked Weasel channel. Uh, also, if you have any tips for our cooking, since 
We are doing some funny techniques today, I would say. I reckon this is where it flips it. Yeah, yeah, I think we should flip it. I think we should flip it right yeah. now. Okay, this is me. Go, girlfriend. Okay. I reckon this will be the best one yet. I don't sure. know. Yours is pretty damn good. Yay! Oh, not bad. Okay, not bad. And it's like the perfect colour. Yay! It's a little bit wrinkly, but no one, no one is hurt by a little bit of wrinkles. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. I love treats. I love sweets. And I'm just remembering now we didn't get ice cream for these pancakes. I'm very sad about that. But these are a pretty healthy recipe mm -hmm. because we've used protein powder. We've used stevia, so there's not a lot of sugar, and everything we've used has been vegan and pretty healthy ingredients. So it's a treat, but it's not a naughty one. Yes, it's a healthy treat. Yes. <laughs> you won't regret tuning in today to watch our and protein pancakes in active way. This is a realistic cooking channel because the things I see with Jamie Oliver, honestly, we all know you're not making that at home. No. And this is something that your everyday Phoebe and Amanda can make. <laughs> we like simple recipes. We like it simple, we like it delicious. So if that's what you want, that you come to the right place. Yes. Oh, well, you know, but who cares? It looks very different today. All right. Yeah, because it's some more. Alright, ready? Oh, oh, oh my god. This is vibration. Vibration It's okay. Okay. I've resurrected it. It's looking good. It's looking good. All right, and she's ready. Oh. Nice. Oh my God, we did it. That was a great. I hope day. you caught that. All right, Phoebe. All right, we're on the last one. Here we go. go. One, two, three, four, five. This is our sixth. Is it? Hell's yeah, yeah. Actually, and we've had no fires. Which is a success. <laughs> right, here we go, last thing is for Give it all that. Nice yeah, and get hot. all of that out. We want to use every little last bit. Yeah. Spread it around. Oh, oh. shocking. <laughs> I almost made a perfect circle. That was perfect anyway. Almost ready. Yeah, looking good, looking good. Looking good, looking good. Oh! Nice. So Amanda's going to bring over the fancy ingredients. First up, we have, what are these? Blueberries, great guess. They are full of antioxidants and great for anti-aging. This one is strawberries. We'll be adding those two. They've been sliced. Then, I don't actually know the name of this, but I feel like it's like cacao and nibs yes, or something. Yes, exactly what they are. So this is a healthy nature's chocolate chips. Yeah, it's like a bit of crunch mm. texture. Then we have, if you want to add a bit more sweet, coconut sugar. I love this and it's really good in coffees. Mm. And what else? Pink sprinkles because pink makes everything better. <laughs> This is some Dhaka, Duka, whatever you think. And what flavor did we go with? Almond and, and cinnamon. cinnamon. So this should be delicious. And a bit of crunch, a bit of texture. And then we have some carob syrup, which is our alternative to maple. You can use honey, whatever you sort of like. This is what we will be dressing them with. Mm -hmm. Last pancake is almost done, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I reckon it's good. Should we put it there? Is that yes, good? that looks amazing. Okay, remember to turn off the heat. Pan off. This looks so pretty. You've just seen, I am proud of our efforts. Yes, I think we did well considering how hard it was. Guys, <laughs> please put in the comments below what you think and how you would rate our final stack. Obviously, we needed to make it a lot pretty now, but considering how we started, I think we ended this stuck pretty well. I'm pretty proud of those efforts. Delicious. Alright, so now I think let's do. I need another cheese. Okay. 
coconut sugar. Yep, sprinkle a bit of coconut sugar on it. Extra sweet. Whoa. Wow, that looks pretty. I like that. I'm going to put some sprinkles on it. Sprinkle, sprinkle, pink. These? Yes! Are some delicious. So we took it from healthy protein pancakes to delicious sugary yumminess. And now this is the cacao nibs. That looks quite like a quite a good presentation to me. Oh, we need the duka. Really good scissors here, guys. Yes. Yeah. Was that the duka? I don't know if you can see that. Whoa, that's a lot. I think this is gonna taste amazing. Okay. And now last but not to least, finish off the drizzle. Whoa, that looks amazing. That looks like chocolate drizzle. Look at that all roll off that delicious stack. Oh my god. That looks so good. I'm really, really, really extra proud now. Alright everyone, so now we've finished our delicious, um, oh, we've fi finished making our beautiful pancakes uh, and we are ready to taste them. So let's get into Yay. it. I'm so stoked to try these. Me too. Mm. How are they? The pancake mix, we've done really well. I think it's very good. Maybe a slight overkill with the carob syrup, that was my mm. fault. <laughs> but everything else is awesome. Mm. That is good. I like the carob nibs, mm. the texture of the soft pancake. Mm -hmm with a little crunch. I'm always into that. <laughs> Yum. These are really good. Um, if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you click like and subscribe to the Wicked Weasel YouTube channel so you never miss any of our videos. Mm -mm. And comment and like below. Let us know if there's anything you want to see us cooking next time because we'd love to make it. Yep, we'd love to see you back. Don't forget to uh, comment below and we'll see all your replies soon. Thanks guys. Bye. See you next time.